Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennison, I'm a beginner artist, and in today's video, I'm going to be drawing the random shopkeeper that Hanathro and, um, uh, I literally knew his name a second ago. Hanathro and Ganju. Uh, I don't remember what my sentence was prior to that. I said uh, I'm going to be drawing the shopkeeper uh, that Hanatro and Ganju work for. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, this episode, Ichigo expresses how he... For some reason, he expresses that he's afraid of losing to the main bount guy, right? And Renji and um, Ganju go out of their way to call him a coward and say that he's afraid and he's never cared about winning before uh, or losing before he just, you know, went, right? And I, I remember saying that, like, Renji stands no chance against... Ichigo, regardless of the power up that he ended up getting, he doesn't stand a chance against Ichigo. And this episode was a testament to that. Like, Ichigo was fighting with fear, and Renji had, like, you know, I wouldn't say he had the upper hand, but like he was in more of an attacking position against Ichigo, who was whom was defending. So the point that I like to have come across is the moment that Ichigo got serious and he actually like, you know, had the the resolve that he normally should have all the time. Renji was like, you know, like kind of cowering down from it in terms of like he wanted to get Ichigo to fight more along the lines of what Ichigo is used to fighting, but he doesn't want to fight Ichigo like that. He just wants to get him back to that, right? So he knows that he will lose to Ichigo if Ichigo were to fight all out against him, but he wanted Ichigo to be in the mindset where he's willing to fight all out, which is what their goal was. And I remember saying that um, there's like, you know, certain inconsistencies in the, se in the series where they'll have like Ichigo lose to somebody, but have a character that Ichigo has previously beat, have that person beat the same character easier than Ichigo did. And, you know, it doesn't make that much sense. That's like, that's like Ichigo being a soul reaper and him being the catalyst for Uryu, I mean, not Uryu, uh, for, um, Root, not Rukia, uh, Odahime and Chad. That's like those two getting their power from Ichigo and then them being stronger than him. You know, it's, it's the equivalent of that because if you get your power from me, there's no way you would be stronger than me because one, you you came after and two, you have a bit of my power. I have the rest, which means that I have the overwhelming force over you. And it's also the same thing like Uryu, right? Like, we can say that um, definitively that Ichigo should be able to beat uh, Uryu easily. And the reason why I would say that, when they were having their sword competition, right? They were having their competition on uh, who was going to defeat the most hollows. Uryu can, yeah, Uryu may be able to take out more hollows when them being spread out because he can shoot arrows at a longer distance. So he's like more versatile in taking on multiple enemies if they're spread out. But Ichigo being able to like one slice that giant hollow that came out the gate that uh, the only way Uryu would have been able to even fire a shot that would have done any damage would have been if he held on to, if he harnessed Ichigo's power. He needed Ichigo's uh, spiritual pressure in order to make his attack strong enough to do anything. So the fact that Ichigo was able to use his own uh, slash against that uh, monster 
is a testament to that, especially since he didn't even use a Getsuga Tensho. He just slashed. So, yeah, let's get into this. have awakened the gods of old. We rise from our slumber to reveal our true power. Focus fire. Strike. 
finished with this storekeeper i will say this store this storekeeper kind of reminds me of the hunter hunter character that was with kite like the bear this character reminds me of that like the facial features and the fact that the hair goes up like that if you added like ears to this i think that it will look so similar to that character I don't know if maybe in the in the sub the character is the exact same voice actor but that'd be cool if it were the case but you know you can't be sure but uh yeah that's it for this video if you liked it be sure to leave a like subscribe if you didn't let me know what I can do in the comment sections to make it better for you to watch next time the glove is off peace love thanks for watching